How about in terms of um, facing uh, the challenges of today's modern stresses, such as, I mean, we, we see, um, even though with all the technology that we yeah. have, with all the material wealth and accumulation mm -hmm. that we have, people are not getting necessarily any happier, Indeed. any more peaceful, so this, on a global level. On a global level. Just last September, I was invited to Brisbane to give the keynote address at the World Computer Conference. And I'm a Buddhist monk. And I just got some feedback from the organizers last month. They put every one of those talks on the, on the net. And my one was by far the most downloaded of all. And there we go. You have a Buddhist monk teaching you know, the professionals, the, the heads of IT, you know, how to actually to, to do their profession. Adding a bit of spirituality. You know, into their profession, learning how to relax, learning how to have some fun, learning how to be creative. Because creativity does not come when you're stressed out. Creativity comes when you have a sense of fun and play. And that's something which we don't have in the workforce anymore. But do people realize more and more the need to just, you know, take a break and... They do. Dell Computing in the United States, their headquarters, has a timeout room. Any member of that organization can go at any time of their workday into the timeout room. It's screened from any sort of uh, text messages, mobile phones. Nothing gets into that room. So you're totally free of people bothering you. You can't have a cup of coffee, listen to some music, meditate, or whatever you want to do. And that company, which is obviously a top company in the world, allows people to go into their timeout room because they know when they relax, they perform much better afterwards. Since the day we were born, our life is a constant pursuit of needs. A large part of our adult life is devoted into working hard to fulfill these never-ending needs, including the need to control our surroundings, other people, and ourselves. Without realizing it, we spend a lot of time and effort on accumulating and maintaining material or outer wealth while forgetting to cultivate our inner well, that is, our compassion, patience, and generosity. Tell me a little bit about, you know, the mind. Obviously, when, when you yeah. meditate, it's, it's oh, something yeah. to do with, with the mind. What, what is the mind? I mean, what goes okay. on with the mind? And okay. What happens when you meditate? Everything becomes very still. And you notice the way the brain works, it can only notice things which change. So when you close your eyes, what you see is the inside of your eyelids. But after a while, because that doesn't change, the sense of sight turns off. The sound is constant. So after a while, you can't hear anything. Smell and taste are very easy to stop. And you sit very still until your body disappears, until you can't feel any sensations in your body. So when all of that disappears, the only thing which is left is your mind. And this is where you come face to face with the mind. And all these other five senses get so still, they vanish. And that's what becomes very, very beautiful. Some people don't realize what a beautiful mind they have. Because it's been covered with all these sense objects outside. So you go deep inside yourself to where your mind lives. And it gets very peaceful and very beautiful. And what is this mind? What is this mind? Uh, it is the energy, the emperor if you like.